I'm here with Oscar Verheyen from Celsin Glass and Solar. Um, he's part of the Enercon um, event, which is also happening here at the same time as Smart Manufacturing DACH. And um, Oscar will tell us now a little bit about what uh, Celsin Glass and Solar uh, do. Oscar, thanks for being here. Daniel, thank you. Um, yeah, Celsius Glass and Solar is a company, consultancy company, that supports the glass producing industry and its supplier in the, in the world. And we provide hardware, we provide software, we provide a lot of training and also pre-competitive research for the glass industry to uh, improve uh, the yield, to improve quality, but also to reduce energy emissions and also to safeguard their lifetime of their furnaces. So energy efficiency is of key issue. What kind of technologies do you find um, the most uh, useful to aid you in this process? Yeah, what is very important is that we do a lot of uh, uh, simulation software modeling to optimize the process and by doing that to reduce also uh, emissions. Uh, in combination with sensors, uh, advanced sensors are critical to optimize your process and combining that with process data, automatic process control will help you to move to a more sustainable production process. In addition, we also work on electrification of the processes and using green hydrogen. So it's a big change for the glass industry and we need a lot of process automation uh, and censoring for, for doing that. How has all of this been impacted by the 2020 uh, crisis? It's been a very disruptive year. Um, is there anything that you noticed uh, that changed drastically? Yeah, I think the thing is that some companies have some issues with less production. On the other hand, what they saw is that they could not support production facilities uh, on site, so they had to work remotely, which means that they have even more demand for process automation, more data transfer between the plants and the people, let's say, working from home. So I think it only uh, increased the need for, yeah, for those things of digitization. Um, and that will not go away in, in, in the future. Speaking of the future, in the coming years, can you give us a little bit of an outlook uh, in your industry uh, with your processes, um, hardware and software, uh, where do you see the trend going? Yeah, I said the trend will go to more software connected to the real process. Uh, everyone would like to know uh, directly how their process is performing. So they need uh, CO2 data, they need the energy uh, data. So it's more on short term, they would like to see, let's say, how well they are doing. Uh, one of our customers said that uh, by preference he would like to wake up in the morning, get a newspaper and read how his process is doing, including some advice what he should do on that day. And that all based on information uh, received from the process. So I think there's a lot of uh, information needed by sensors again. Uh, on the other hand, there will be a drastic change on the production way of producing it, new furnaces, just we need some more sustainable fuels. So I think it will be a very tough, challenging, interesting time with a lot of more data processing and with a much more greener process to make glass.